Do you know how to add a calendar to your timesheet? What about adding holidays? Let's find out how and make an awesome timesheet. So here we are. We have our timesheet. Let's go ahead and create a calendar table. So I'm going to go to this drop down here. has a list of all the work weeks for the year. It's looking at the TBL underscore calendar SharePoint list. Let me switch over and show you. Switch over and show you the calendar table. Here it is. It's in SharePoint. We have a column called week. It just has the week numbers. We have a start date column, end date, work week. And work week here. We're only using one of these work week columns. And I'll show you which one we're using. Let me go back to Power Apps. Okay, so the way this is set up is, first of all, we have, this is, we'll display the current day of the, that we're on, which is Friday, June 9th, 2023. If you look at the code here, it's just a simple now function and it's bringing back the current date, all right? Now, like I said here in this drop down, by default, it's going to look at the current work week that we're in, which is 6-5-2023 to 6-11-2023. We have all the existing work weeks for the year right here. Now, watch what happens when I choose a different work week, look at this area right here. I choose next week's, it, it's going to change the dates here. So Monday is June 12th, and we have Sunday is June 18th. So I'll show you how I set that up. If you look at Trying to go in there. Right here. All right. So this is the formula for Monday. So again, we're look we're doing a um, a lookup function on that same calendar table in our SharePoint list. It's looking at the work week column. Matching that up to what's in the work week drop down and returning the start date. So Monday is always going to be the start of every week. 
So it's going to return the date for Monday of whatever's in this drop down on the left, which is 6 5 2023. And then for Tuesday, it, all you do is you're just adding plus one to Monday. All right. And then Wednesday will be plus two and so on. So you get to Sunday, which is plus six. You see that? Any questions so far? So let me move this back. Up here. All right, so now we know how the calendar table works. What I'm going to show you now is how to include holidays. So let me go back to SharePoint. We have a holiday. SharePoint list. It's got the holidays for this year. So from New Year's Day to Christmas Day. We have a title, holiday date, day number, day, and holiday. Let me switch over again. Back to Power Apps. All right, so the way that holidays work is I add a line. I'm going to, let's just call this project test, okay? Select like the employee. When I go to select the billing type, I'm gonna choose holiday. Now, before I do that, I need to be in a holiday week. So let's go to 4th of July, which is right here, 7-3 to 7-9. Now, 4th of July is on a Tuesday. So when I go choose holiday, notice that it shows 8 automatically for Tuesday because it's already built in to, to know that that date is a holiday. So it fills in the hours for you. I'll show you the code for that. So if you look, right here, you zoom in. So again, we're looking at the uh, holiday SharePoint list. And basically all we're doing is just matching up the holidays and giving it the holiday hours, eight hours. If you need this code, I'll have it in the chat or I can email it to you if you send me your email. All right, any questions? So now let's go to where we want to set the work times to a default value. All right, so what are we talking about here? Let me clear this, add a new line. So I'm gonna go in here and select regular hours and press T. That's going to bring up the work times. So what I want to do is, let's say that most of the employees come in at 6.30. I want to set 6.30 for the end time by default. 
So let's figure out how we can do that. All right, so let me get my cheat sheet here. All right, so if we go into this drop down here, by default, it's set to one for the combo box. So we said we want 630, right? So all we have to do is put in actual time, 630, right? So every time we open up this dialog box, it will show 630 by default. So let's say we want the lunch out default time to be, um, let's say to go to lunch at 12. Just put in 12 o'clock, come back to lunch. So you come back to lunch at 12.30. And they leave work, let's say they leave work at 1700 which is five o'clock but 1700 right so notice here it shows the total hours so this is the code for that we're doing a date difference and we're calculating the total work hours for that individual. So if I change this from 17 to 18, it should say 11 and it does. So all we do here is if, we, if it's uh, 11 hours that they worked, we just press insert it shows 11 hours for that day of the week. Any questions? All right, well, if there's no questions, thank you for joining. And like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.